Hello guys and welcome back to episode 15 of Rebuilding the Bridge. I'm Jake and today we've got two pretty winnable Premier League games with pretty fun fixtures. We're going to be playing Leeds in the first match at home and then again at home against Leicester. Two decent sides, teams that we should beat but it'll be pretty fun to watch us play them. So you last saw us in the game against Real Madrid where we beat them, I think it was 2-1 at our home ground. Well since then we've been on some very, very good form. So here we are, that's when we won 2-1. We then beat Norwich 3-0 at home with 10 men, with Ian Matson, Christian Pulisic and Timo Werner scoring. Then Everton 3-0 in the Carabao Cup 4th round, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, N'Golo Kante and Tammy Abraham. And then we were drawn against Liverpool for that in the next round, so we could probably, based on how we've played Liverpool before, we we'll, can probably wave goodbye to the Carabao Cup now. And the board aren't going to be happy with that because I think they wanted me to get to the final in their like requirements for the season. Even though last year they didn't care. But anyway, yeah, Liverpool in the next round. We beat Everton 3 0. We then beat Bournemouth 2 0 away, both goals from Fikeo Tomori. Then, in an amazing match away at the Bernabeu against Real Madrid, we won 4 0. A Timo Werner hat trick and a brilliant goal from Mason Mount. And really, that put us already qualified. And I think we are qualifying as the top team in the group, pretty much guaranteed, which is very good from this group stage. Then we beat Wolves at home 1 0, Mason Mount with a goal. Then Southampton 1 0 away, Reese James with a goal. Then Galatasaray 3 0, Mason Mount, Ross Barkley, Ruben Loftus Cheek. Three English central attacking midfielders getting the goals for us there. And then today, yeah, we got these two big games one to end November against Leeds, and then one against Leicester. So, as it is a two game video, I'll be doing key highlights as I do when I have a two game video just to speed it up. So, let's quickly get into the team of who we're going to be playing today. We've got Kepper in goal, we've got Emerson, Upamencano, Christensen and James. It's our standard back line other than Fikeo Tomori who is out suspended. Then we've got Jorginho in midfield with N'Golo Kante, Kovacic and Ruben Loftus-Cheek on the bench. Then we've got Sancho on the right wing, Mason Mount through the middle, hudson Adoy on the left, now as an inside forward instead of an inverted winger because it seems no matter who I play on this left side, they're pretty much ineffective. So I've tried changing the roll up, see if it works any better. I think it's purely because on this left side, everything goes through Emerson rather than the winger. So that might be why the winger gets to do less. But yeah, hudson Odoi plays on the left as the inside forward and Timo Werner up top. Tammy Abraham's still our bench striker for now. He hasn't shown any signs of being unhappy, but when he stepped up to come on for Werner, he hasn't done enough really. So Werner starts, even though he's not in the best of form himself. But yeah, let's get into this game against Leeds and hopefully we should be getting two wins today. And we are off here in the Leeds match. Now, I know I shouldn't say this as a Chelsea fan, but I do have a bit of a soft spot for Leeds because I think I think it was FM18. Yeah, FM18 it was. I had like a 10-11 season save with Leeds where I took them up from the Championship. We were there for a good number of years to the Premier League and eventually Champions League winners. And it was pretty much with a homegrown team as well. Like I was just using Youth Academy products. So I, I, I do have a soft spot for Leeds, but... We do have a rivalry with, with Leeds, according to Football Manager, so hopefully we can make the fans happy by getting a win. As Timo Werner, very early on, gets a goal for us here at Stamford Bridge. It looked like a mistake from the Leeds defence. We'll see it now. I think they, tr they tried to play it out the back by the looks of it. Here was Kante. Yeah, it went to Helda Costa. I think Helder Costa just played it straight through to Timo Werner, and Timo Werner was just the quickest one there. And he was alive to the danger and put it in the back of the net. And that is a great start for us now. And hopefully we can just cruise for a nice win. And, you know, after these two games, if they're pretty winnable and we win well, you'll think I'm a pretty good manager, I hope. So <laughs> maybe that's why we chose some easier games after that Liverpool defeat. Who knows? Here's hudson Odoi on the left. He finds Emerson. Emerson with a cross in. Jaden Sancho, who's a bit off form at the minute, as is every winger we've got. None of the wingers seem to be firing. But they do a lot in terms of creativity, just not as much in terms of actually scoring goals. So hopefully that will change as the season goes on. As Leeds take a kick out from the back up to Kev... I think his name is Kevin Augustine. I will check in a second. Upper Mencano now, Jorginho. Kante plays it to, out to Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho goes on the inside, takes a shot. Will Huffer saves. Here's Reese James with a throw in out to N'Golo Kante. Kante finds Jorginho. They've built up a good partnership in the last few games in the middle, Jorginho and Kante. And then in the other games, I basically just play Loftus-Cheek and Kovacic. It's just a rotation at the minute. Reese James now on the right. What can he do? He puts a nice ball through to Jaden Sancho. who looks like he's been brought down. So it's probably going to be, yeah, it's a penalty and Jorginho should be taken. 
I don't think he scored this season. I might be wrong. Jorginho puts it home and we will see if he has scored. It's his second goal. There you go. He scored two. Probably both from the spot. Actually, no, no. I think I remember his goal. It was like a long shot. So there we are. Jorginho's first penalty of the season. He scored so many last year, but we were, we haven't really won many penalties this year, really. But he's put that one away nice and easy and we are dominating right now. No chances for Leeds at all so far. And I think we'll just go into an attacking mentality and just try and put a few more goals past them and build up our confidence because I don't really see Leeds getting back into this now. I say that as Leeds have a goal kick up to Marcus Edwards. But Jaden Sancho cuts it out, plays it back to Kepa and now we will be in control of the ball yet again. Kep has been good in recent games and I feel a bit bad for trying to get rid of him in the summer. If you didn't know, I tried to basically replace him with Donnarumma, but it it was a complicated one. No one wanted to actually buy Kepa because of how much his wages were. They were willing to pay the fee, but so I listed him up for fifty million, he didn't go, and then the board told me off and said I he should be listed for one hundred and fifty five million. So yeah, Kepa's not going anywhere anytime soon. Werner hits the bar there with a header and we'll be going into half-time with a nice 2-0 lead. Oh, maybe maybe 3-0. There's going to be one more chance before half-time. With Mason Mount on the left side, finds Jorginho. Jorginho is going to take the shot straight at Will Huffer and that will be half-time. And just say, well done everyone, keep it up. Can't really complain with what we've seen so far. Hopefully we can put a few more goals past him with the amount of chances we're creating so far. I'm thinking about maybe bringing off Hudson Odoi. He hasn't had the best of games and he's on a yellow card, so it's just not really worth the risk. So I think David Neres will come on in a second if he's on the bench. Yes, he is. Let's get him on there. And then I think I'll bring on someone for Mason Mount in a second who takes the corner into Andreas Christensen, who gets his first goal of the season. He heads it home. And that is definitely that now. 3 0, 60 minutes gone. It's been a nice, easy game and a great performance from Israeli domination. But I showed you our good form before this game. We've won quite a few on the bounce now. But it hasn't meant much in terms of the league because both Liverpool and Man City, who are above us, just are not stopping. They are unrelenting right now, winning every single game, no matter what. So we've just got to keep hot on their tails and hope that they start to slip up as the season goes on. Because if not, then we're gonna, we're definitely not going to win the league this year. Not that, that the board don't exactly want me to win the lead, they just want me to challenge for the title. So hopefully they won't be too mad if I don't win it this year. It's not like the other leagues where we can just win it year after year. There's always going to be competition in the Premier League. Pulisic on the edge of the box, he's tackled, and that is that for that highlight. I, I can't see there being much more in this game now, which it, it seems to just be fizzling out. It's Timo Werner has the ball in the box, but it's cleared away, yeah, and nothing really is happening. I mean, Leeds have got the ball. It seems like whenever our chances seem to be coming from Leeds making mistakes playing it out the back, and again, it's happened there, as they've tried to do a bit too much and the ball's fell to Ross Barkley. Pulisic, what can he do on this right side? Finds N'Golo Kante, Ross Barkley, Ross Barkley scores. And poor old Leeds, they're just, they're trying a bit too hard. They should just be doing route one stuff, hitting and hoping, but they're trying to pass it out and be a bit too technical for the players they've got, and it's not working out for them, and we with our pressing system, they're just closing them down way too easily. And you can see it there, that is a nice goal from Ross Barkley. A first time, hard shot from outside the box, right into the corner of the net. And it's, yeah, great performance. Can't complain, I'll just tell the players to calm down and concentrate. Put it back into positive and just see the game out as a 4-0 win. Hopefully keep our clean sheet. As Leeds have a chance here though, hopefully they're not going to score. But we've got the ball again and it's going to be us. And what a surprise, we might get a fifth goal. Poor Leeds have not been at it today. Jack Harrison on the left of Leeds now, what can he do? He goes past our number four, plays it to Jean-Kevin Augustine who hits it wide and we will take that. Nice and easy. 4-0 win with a clean sheet. Well done everyone. Andreas Christensen picks up player of the match for his defensive performance and his goal. And yeah, that, that's all good. So I'll see you in the Leicester game. Okay, so we're just here before the Leicester game and it's pretty much the same team as the last match. The only differences are Asper Leclerc at left back for Emerson because Emerson's a bit tired and Ian Matson is out injured. So Asper Leclerc is our backup left back right now. So he's going to be played there. Upperman Carno is injured too. It's only a little injury, but I'd rather not risk him. So tomorrow he's going to be playing in his role. And then Loftus-Cheek is coming in for Jorginho purely because... When I played Loftus-Cheek recently, he's been brilliant. So 
let's give him a chance in the Premier League and see what he can do. We go into this game against Leicester, who are seventh, hoping to win. And hoping, if we look at the league right now, we're on 33 points, joint with Man City. We just need to keep winning and keep closing that gap. An interesting thing I did just find out is that we haven't conceded now for eight games. So we'll see whether we can keep that going till nine and break the club record because eight was already the club record, apparently. That's how I found out. So if we can make it nine, then that'll be amazing. So let's get straight into the match. We're off here. We did have a really positive team talk. So we're going into this game. Quite happy, hoping to win, and the boys seem to think that as well, that we can definitely win this match. So, hopefully, we will, as Timo Werner steals the ball off Kaglas Oyuncu early on, and with his 10th goal of the season, he makes it 1-0, and I've just seen in the corner that West Ham are also losing 1-0, which is good news for us, because West Ham, I don't know if they still are, but they definitely are in the chase in Champions League group. And as you can see, we've just moved up to second, I'm assuming that's because Man City haven't played yet, but... That's a great start from us there. And we can see Leicester's team on the side here. Pretty much what they have in real life, except they now have Minamino, uh, Asamoa, and Olivier Giroud as their new players. I don't see anyone else. I mean, obviously the bench players are different, but that doesn't really matter. But it is uh, strange that Jamie Vardy isn't playing, but I guess they're using Olivier Giroud. Maybe that's their style now, who we obviously did sell to them last season. And that... Is a good first half, nice and easy. We didn't let Leicester have any chances. We're one nil up. We will say keep that up to the boys, and hopefully, this will be just as easy as a win as the one against Leicester was. And I just saw on the side of the screen that the game today is actually Liverpool Man City. So someone is going to drop points, and right now they are both drawing. So that is very good for us, and we really need to make sure we win this match now, knowing that Liverpool and Man City could possibly be dropping points in this game. This is where we need to start closing that gap to the top. As Aspilicueta has the ball from us now in the left-back position, he finds N'Golo Kante, Loftus-Cheek, Mason Mount, it's good play from us now between the three midfielders. Aspilicueta on the left, what can he do? He finds Loftus-Cheek, Mason Mount with a long shot just over the bar and I want to put it into an attacking to get an extra goal but I also don't want to risk it so we're not going to do it just yet. As Timo Werner tries to hit Leicester on the break but Johnny Evans keeps up with him and steals the ball off him quite easily. Hamza Chowdhury plays for it to Minamino. Minamino goes past one, two, three. Minamino into our box. I think we've just blocked him out at the end. That was lucky. That was a great run from Minamino for Leicester there. Obviously, Minamino is currently a Liverpool player, I believe. Not that he's played too much for them, but yeah, he's now at Leicester playing on that right hand side, and he's been their biggest threat so far. As we play the ball in with Mason Mount, and Christensen's header is just over. He has been really good for us recently, Christensen, since he's been coming in to replace the suspended Tamori and the injured of Mencano. He's done a really good job, so would have been nice for him to get a goal there. And who's the most tired? It seems... Let's get Kovacic on. He hasn't played for a few games. And let's get Ross Barkley on for the last 15 minutes. Ross Barkley seems to be picking up a bit of form. But I am worried here that Leicester are going to get a goal to equalise because... I mean, we haven't we haven't killed the game off yet when we've had chances to, and Leicester still look threatening when they go forward as they always do. As he, Asamoah plays the ball in, but Tamori is able to get it away to Ross Barkley. Ross Barkley plays it through Werner. Werner can he use his pace to get him behind, and he hits it just wide. Let's get Tammy Abraham on. Nothing wrong with Werner there, but Abraham hasn't played for a while, so keep him happy by giving him a game, and we will demand more. Leicester still haven't actually had a chance yet. There we go. They've just had their first chance. But it's these kind of games where I just feel like I'm going to lose it in the last minute. I say that as Madison plays the free kicking. And I think they're saying it's a handball unless they're going to get a penalty. Yes, they have. Oh, no. We really should have killed this game off. Can Kepa keep us in it and save the Madison penalty? Yes, he can. Kepa, Ariza, Balaga. Make sure that as Liverpool and Man City drop points, we will stay hot on their tails. What a save from Kepa. What a massive stop that was. And we really should have done better in that game. And I will tell the boys that, that you were poor out of there. We need to be better. Oof, that was a close one. Well done to Kepa. I would have given him man of the match just for that. And that means, if we have a look, what was the end result? It was Liverpool 2, Man City 1. So Liverpool still got the win. So we are no closer to Liverpool, but we are now ahead of Man City. And even West Ham have taken over Man City now. So, so we've put a gap of three points between us and Man City, but we are still five points off Liverpool. Hopefully we can close that gap in the coming games. But we still haven't conceded now. That's nine games in a row. And I think I will bring it back for 
Oh, that's a tough run in there. Man United, Arsenal and Liverpool in a row. I think I'll just bring it back. Next Next video will be the January transfer window update. And not to hype up too much, but I've already done a big, big, big piece of business. Probably the biggest piece of biz business I have done so far in the whole series. It's a massive sign and already sorted and you'll be coming in January. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. So yeah, I'll see you in the January transfer window update where I'll update you on everything that's happened so far. So I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, feel free to like, comment if you want to get involved and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.